We don't have to do hands-on anymore or put the heavy bomb suit on. Now you send the robot down. It doesn't get tired. It doesn't get thirsty. It's called PackBot. Its mission, to identify and dispose of bombs. iRobot has shipped more than 1,000 PackBots to Iraq and Afghanistan. The clients include the militaries of the United States, the UK, Germany, and France, as well as police departments in several U.S. cities. If you think you've heard of iRobot, you're probably right. Its Roomba home products are cleaning carpets and mopping up floors across the country. But iRobot's ties to consumer technology don't end there. You've probably seen this before, and that's because this controller, which they use in this device in Iraq, is the very same controller that adults and children, for that matter, use every day in their game rooms. The robot's very easy to pick up, especially the gaming generation. They've been using Xbox and PlayStation for many years, and uh, it's, it's very easy for them to pick up. iRobot's newest technology includes the Red Owl, shown in this demonstration. It's hailed by designers as a sniper tracker, reacting to the sound of a gunshot and immediately sending a video signal back to its operator. This unit features thermal imaging, daylight and low light cameras, lasers to track down potential threats to support safer ground troop movements. But how effective is the unit? With the guidance of iRobot, we tried our own tests using a hammer and sheet metal to simulate gunfire, resulting in a reaction in 11 out of 24 of our test strikes. iRobot officials say the unit is designed to react to specific acoustics and that striking sheet metal is the only safe test method for replicating the gunfire sound. Make no mistake about it, for those putting their lives on the line on the battlefield, any rate of success is a life-saving measure. It means that we don't have to put soldiers' lives actually at risk down on top of the IED. We can stay outside of the kill zone of the IED and still do our job safely. Outside the kill zone. Code for saving lives with technology. Richard Louie, CNN Headline News, Atlanta.